Welcome to Saving History. My name is S.C. Digger. I want to thank everybody for your terrific support of the Saving History video series. And I want to welcome somebody new to the Saving History family, my good friend Bill Ladd. Bill, he's from Rhode Island, and he's going to take us on some of his relic hunting adventures throughout New England. So sit back and enjoy the very first episode of Saving History, New England. Welcome to the first ever episode of Saving History New England. I'm your host Bill Ladd and you're probably wondering why I'm standing here. Well this is what they call progress unfortunately. Another neighborhood has gone in and taken some of our woods away and some of our sites that was actually a colonial cellar hole not far from right where we're standing now and hopefully the camera can pick up the back stone wall back there good news is there's still several cellar holes over that wall and there's one really big center hearth colonial one we call the shoe buckle in so today we're gonna go back there it's been heavily hunted but I'm hoping with a new machine we could save a little bit more history today You can see the ruts, a lot of these from the old wagons that went through here. Welcome to the Shoebuckle Inn. Some of you read may remember that title from one of my Western Eastern treasure story. This is one of the largest, probably most intact cellar holes. You can see the big center hearth chimney there. A lot of them aren't this large. Definite colonial construction. Probably late 1700s. If you listen close, talking about progress, you can hear the heavy machinery and uh, closing in. So sadly, this place is going to go. And uh, here's an example of um, what a house like this might have looked like because there's several standing in the area. This is a perfect example of what this foundation might have looked like. This is a colonial. 1797 center hearth chimney this was the last time we came hoping to scrape up one more thing and the shoe buckle in lived up to his name this is a 1700s knee buckle it looks like because of its small size with some iron pins still there and what's really cool is it's decorative with a berries and vine design I've done way too much talking and not enough detecting, so let's save some history. Here I've moved away from the foundation, got a nice solid signal. Here we go. Okay, looks like a coin. Indian head or something. Sure is. An Indian head. 18 something one. Looks like 1891. Yep, there it is. 
nice shape kind of proves that it was this place was active till late 1800s turn of the century meter of my f-75 that's like a coin reading I'll try to keep the camera on this could be a large scent or something oh yeah I think uh, I just added to the shoe buckle in collection yes a beautiful frame of a colonial shoe buckle brass that's why the reading was so high too bad it doesn't have the inner pins but I can't complain about that I love finding shoe buckles and that may be about the sixth one that's turned up here now, this is not good I just uh, I'm in a heavily rooted area and prying up among some roots I just snapped the shovel and I thought this is this isn't the eight dollar Walmart kind this is was actually a decent one I've had for years I guess too much prying and hitting rocks took its toll it's gonna be interesting hopefully it doesn't cut the hunt short I might have a trowel in my backpack hopefully and uh, put salt in the wound I busted it digging this I just broke through these roots with this thing and about eight inches down another colonial find here it's a pewter button looks like a little bit of silvering on it and definite colonial with that hump there so I worked for that one that's for sure here's another target back behind the hole kind of high conductive was a 76 on the uh, F 75 meter it's finally out I've been digging with my hands can't seem to find it people that use pinpointers are probably oh what's this look at there there it is Like a lodgy, yes. Nice lodgy. Back looks better than the front. Now here it is again. I I brushed it off a little bit. Reese side definitely has the best detail. But I got a date off the other side, 1820, so we'll take that. Well hopefully you enjoy the first ever episode of Saving History New England. I did a lot of digging with my hands and uh, I think we did really pretty well for a so-called worked out site. The new detector ran great and uh, I hope you enjoyed one of my favorite sites and the tour around a real New England colonial cellar hole. Let's take a quick look at some of the other shoe buckles and stuff that have come up at this site in previous hunts. For Saving History New England, I'm Bill Ladd.